is Chef John from foodwishes.com with How to Cook a Turkey. The holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and a lot of people are afraid to cook turkey, their chicken. So uh, here's how I do it. This is the very simple basic method. I'm gonna make a seasoned salt with some black pepper, some salt, and some poultry seasoning. Just a very basic seasoning mix. The second part of the seasoning is this mirepoix. This is carrots, celery, and onions cut up. And then I do a flavored butter with some rosemary and sage and a little bit of garlic. You're gonna take the package that comes in the turkey, you're gonna take out the neck, the heart, and the gizzard, but not the liver, with one bay leaf and about six cups of water, and you're gonna put that on to simmer. And that's gonna cook for a couple hours. That's gonna make a quick turkey stock that we'll use in part two. All right, because this is part one. All right, now, to prep the turkey. By the way, this is a 12 pound turkey. I hate burnt wing tips. There's nothing uglier than a burnt wing tip. So we're gonna fold that underneath, like that. All right, and that's gonna give it a nice stable base and it's gonna look a lot prettier. Now we're gonna pull the turkey up on its head and you're gonna liberally season the inside. All right, all over, you need a good amount. We're also gonna put a handful of the mirepoix not a lot, just a handful. And then we're gonna stuff some rosemary and sage in there also. And it's gonna make for a very aromatic turkey, kind of flavored from the inside. Then we're gonna tie the legs together with some string. You can use unflavored floss. All right, don't use the minty fresh kind, but any kind of floss will work. All right, so that's the inside done. Now, for the outside, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna loosen the skin on the top of the breast. Now you can start it with your fingers. What I like to do is take a, a thin rubber spatula. It has to be something that's dull, okay? Because a metal object might tear through the skin. The skin's very tough. The sharp edge will poke through, which is not what you want. So I'm gonna take a spatula like that and just kinda open up that skin. It's actually not that hard. Then I'm gonna put two big spoons of my flavored butter, my herb butter, underneath the skin. I'm just gonna rub it down till it kind of spreads out evenly. And that's gonna really keep the breast moist and flavor from the inside. Okay? Then I'm gonna take the rest of the butter and I'm gonna spread it all over the outside and the sides. Don't just do it on the top. And that's really gonna keep the outside moist and flavorful. We're gonna salt and pepper with our spice mix there, the outside, liberally. All right, then I'm gonna dump the rest of the mirepoix in a pan. I'm gonna put the turkey on top, and I'm gonna pour in a little bit of water to make for a moist cooking environment, and also it gives me some great juices later to add to my gravy. I'm gonna put some foil over the turkey breast, very important for the first half of the cooking approximately, so uh, that it doesn't get overcooked and too dark on top. Then I'm gonna pull that off and it's gonna get nice and brown later. You'll see that in part two. All right, we're gonna roast that at 325, a nice slow oven. One of the secrets, slow oven. We're gonna do that about 18 minutes per pound. You got, that's just an approximate time. You gotta check with a thermometer, 165 is what you want. Okay, so uh, you can do the math so you have an idea, but towards the end, you're gonna test it in the thickest part of the thigh, and uh, that's how you know it's done. So that's part one, how to prep the turkey, get it in the oven, and in part two, we're gonna pull it out, let it rest, and make the gravy, okay? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. All the uh, ingredients for the, that stuff's on the site, and uh, as always, enjoy.